Hello folks, how are you doing? Uh, I'm back again, we are working on the battery. Uh, today I am putting some buzz bars, okay, to, you know, to be ready so that we can connect the fuses to the buzz bars all the way around. I've shown you the battery pack last week, how it looks like. I haven't finished this one yet, we're still testing cells, some of them are completely dead. So I'm going to uh, buy new uh, cells, I think about eight of them, I'm going to buy new cells. Some of them, they are dented. You remember when I was breaking the module, it was very hard. So some of them are dented. They still hold the capacity and the voltage very well. So I'm thinking of where there are some dents or, you know, whatever imperfections maybe put a little bit of soldering around uh, you see this one here i've written dent it has a dent right here it's the charge on it is all right the capacity is okay it works well but i thought because of this you know let me just apply a little bit of soldering here and here just to you know make it a little bit more firm here you know it probably is not necessary but i'll you know i'll have peace of mind if i filled this little dent with the uh, soldering okay so a couple of them are like that i will uh, do them fix them and then buy eight more they are on ebay they're, they're not cheap it's like one is about six pound one cell samsung 1650 the ones that are used by tesla one is like six pounds so i uh, need to buy eight and then take those after you know soldering them as i said put them in here with the new ones but i'm gonna try to mix the new ones with the old ones just to help to you know balance things a little bit okay so so far so good like i said the bus bus now the bus bus are making them with this this is a 2.5 mil cable and it has an f on it as well so instead of throwing away the f because uh, these are twin and f instead of instead of throwing away the f i'm gonna just add it on this just to add a little bit of if, you know so that i don't just waste it and throw it away it's, it's better used than thrown away you know so because i'm an electrician i have a lot of cable okay let me just show you right because i i just told you i'm an electrician i have a lot of these in the shed i'm a taxi driver but i am an electrician okay i was doing houses installing you know new installations changing cable sockets and all stuff like that I also worked on industrial and commercial buildings uh, with other companies, so uh, I have lots of cable, uh, 10 mil cables, 2.5, 1.5, 1 mil, it's, it's in the shed, I got lots and lots of them. So I'm using this, I'm using this one, as you can see it's twin and F. It's a 2.5 mil cable, okay? So what I do is I'm taking the whole thing, twist it together, okay? I peel it off, as you can see the peel here, okay? You can see, I've been peeling it off, all the subscribers are going to be. So here we have a, a positive, a negative, and then F. Oh, just a second. As you can see, we have negative and then we have positive here. But we also have earth in the middle. This way it's called twin and earth. This is a 2.5 mil cable, as I said. So I'm peeling off the whole thing, taking this, this one here, the negative and positive and earth, twist them together to make a, a buzz bar okay to make one of these these buzz bars uh, they are excellent for this setup 
this is enough. The 2.5 mil cable can hold a lot of juice. This is peanuts to it. It's, it's not a big setup uh, for this cable. And remember, I've twisted them together. Uh, plus, the earth is in there as well. So, it's a it's a good uh, way to to make bus bars. Twisting them makes them straight. So you just put them here. And I've glued them with this. This this doesn't, you know, it's not a problem in terms of fire. I don't have any problem with it. Uh, it is better to use hot glue, but I don't have it at the moment. But, you know, for now, I think this, this does well. It's called fill grip or something, go grip fill. So it's, a, it's, it's working very well. These bus bars that are here, that are going to go at the bottom because as you can see, I've put the bus bar here. This is plus negative. Now on the other side at the bottom, the reason I don't have a bus bar here is because the other one is going to be at the bottom. So they go like this all the way to the end. Okay. Then I'm going to have a terminal this side for negative and a terminal on the other side for positive. The same thing applies to this pack uh, here because this is positive. Here it will be negative. So negative is going to connect to positive on this one. Here is positive. Here is negative. At the bottom, here is negative. Here is positive. So they're going to connect together. And then on the other end, we'll have positive and then we'll have negative, which will be, you know, going to be connected in 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 parallel with the battery in the car i want to make this very very simple i don't want to com you know complicate it with computers and all that i just wanted to connect parallel full stop that's it okay let's see how what happens if everything works well i'm getting two more modules and i'm going to do this you remember last week i said eh, i would make this as one pack remember we're talking about these because these are uh, seven in parallel. I was going to make 14 in parallel, but I thought, no, I totally don't have to do that because this is one battery pack or a module. What I can do is, you know, I can connect this one and this one in, in parallel. You see what I'm saying? I can just connect them in parallel as two individual batteries. Okay, then it will be the same as making 14 uh, parallel 28 hours. It, it will be exactly the same thing. It's just that, you know, I think I was just thinking the other day that, oh, to, to reconnect them, I have to change the passwords and all that. No, 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 I don't have to do that. I can just leave them exactly the way they are. Just connect them in parallel instead of in series. So that's how it is. I'm going to carry on with this, uh, then get fuses, connect the whole thing, test, and then go into the car and see how it will go like. If I can get 30 miles from this and the one in the car, that will be a very, very good result. Okay? That will be excellent result. If I can get... Because the, the battery in the car does about 12 miles, somewhere there. And it is lower capacity than this one. Uh, I think putting them together, if I can, let's say if I get 25 miles, which will be like this one has added 10. I don't think it will add 10. It will add more because it has more capacity than the battery in the car. So if I get 25 miles, that will be excellent. Because what that means is this will be working very, very well. I can increase that and get more and more mileage out of the 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 setup, okay? But I will film everything so that uh, you see how things are going. Okay, folks, thank you very much for watching and for your support. Uh, I will talk to you some other time. Take care. Bye-bye.